These are medicines used in ophthalmic surgeries. There are indications for these medicines listed in this first column here. The first indication is meiosis or constricted pupils. You can see a picture of a uh, meiosis pupil right here on the top left. The drug that causes, uh, that helps prevent meiosis is acetylcholine. The mechanism of acetylcholine, as you probably know, is cholinergic agonism. This activates the muscarinic receptors in the eye. There are, however, systemic side effects to a lot of these medicines, and it's worth knowing them uh, from the ophthalmology or the anesthesia side of the surgery. Now, the systemic effects of acetylcholine includes bronchospasm, bradycardia, and hypotension. The next big indication is glaucoma, which is a problem where you have increased intraocular pressure. This is a picture of an eye with glaucoma. This is actually acute angle closure glaucoma. There are a few medicines that can help with this increased intraocular pressure. The first is acetazolamide. The mechanism through which it helps is that it inhibits carbonic anhydrase. The systemic effects of carbonic anhydrase inhibition includes diuresis and hypokalemic metabolic acidosis. There's also echothiophate, which helps with glaucoma. This is an irreversible cholinesterase inhibitor. There are a few systemic effects here as well. It prolongs the effects of succinylcholine. It also reduces the plasma cholinesterase activity for up to three to seven weeks after finishing the medicine. And it can also help, it can, it can also cause bradycardia and bronchospasm. The last medicine to help with glaucoma is timolol, which is a beta adrenergic agonist. This, uh, as a systemic effect, can cause a bradycardia that is resistant to atropine. It can also cause bronchospasm, exacerbation of congestive heart failure, and possible exacerbation of myasthenia gravis. The last big indication is medriasis and ophthalmic capillary decongestion. This is an eye where you can see a very dilated pupil. This is medriasis. There are a few drugs that help here. The first listed is atropine. This is an anticholinergic drug. It's the opposite of acetylcholine, uh, which was a cholinergic agonist. The systemic side effects of anticholinergic drugs like atropine include central choliner anticholinergic syndrome. And the mnemonic for this is listed here. Mad as a hatter, hot as a hair, red as a beet, dry, dry as a bone, and blind as a bat. These refer to the symptoms of delirium, agitation, altered mental status, fever, flushing, xerostomia, and hydrosis. Uh, blind as a bat refers to blurred vision, um, photophobia, cycloplegia. The other medicine that can help with these indications is scopolamine, which is another anticholinergic and has the same side effects. And there's also cyclopentylate, which is another anticholinergic, which can have these side effects, but also can cause disorientation, psychosis, convulsions, and dysarthria. Epinephrine can also help with these indications. Uh, epinephrine is an alpha and beta adrenergic agonist, and the systemic effects, as you might know, can be hypertension, tachycardia, dysrhythmias, cardiac arrhythmias, uh, paradoxic decrease in intraocular pressure, um, and that's why it's used for glaucoma. So even though you have higher blood pressure, higher heart rate, uh, maybe an erratic heart rhythm, it can still be used for glaucoma to reduce that uh, pressure in the eye. The last of these medicines is phenylephrine. This is an alpha adrenergic agonist, and it's a direct acting vasopressor. The systemic effect here is that it can cause hypertension. I hope this review of ophthalmic surgery medications was helpful, and thank you for listening.